Eugene Dixon to read your lucky stars. You can't do that anymore. She died of a heart attack in Washington at the age of 79. We lost NBC's Brandon Tartikoff to Hodgkin's disease, a disease he fought off twice, once in 1974 and once again in 1982. When he discovered it again in 1996, there wasn't anything else he could do. Brandon was 48 when he died. And talk about dying tragically. Country and folk legend John Denver crashed his plane and died instantly. John had been waging a successful battle against alcoholism when he lost his life. Most recently, in excess singer Michael Hutchins was found naked with a belt around his neck in his hotel room in Sydney, Australia. Michael was dating model Paula Yates at the time, who also had a child with him. He was only 37. And finally, we lost legendary Burgess Meredith. Some of you might remember him as the Penguin in the Batman TV series, Mickey in the Rocky movies, or the dirty old man in Grumpy Old Men. Burgess's ticker just ran out. It'll always be remembered by us. This is John Bell, and that was gone but not forgotten in 1997. Coming up next, the Verve Pipe, Chumbawamba, Leanne Rhymes, who got hitched and who got ditched in 1997, and 1997's Biggest News Stories, Part 3, as the countdown continues. Z100's Top 100 of 1997 is brought to you by Toyota. Why? E-S. Year and sale. Y-E-S is the word you'll hear at your tri-state Mitsubishi dealers when you lock in 1.9% financing on a brand new My beer and tap the Rockies. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. Z, 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 Z. On the street. On the street. That's right, he's a kid. Can't wait. Tonight at 11, check out Planet Z live with Greg T. The Roundheaded Fat Boy at the Cadillac Bar in Hoboken. Brought to you by Universal Home Videos. Wednesday night at 9, join Sharon Stevens, Danielle Monero, and the Z100 Pajama Party at Club Expo live in Times Square for the biggest party in the city. Plus, check out live performances from Alora, She Moves, and DJ Easy Rock. Tickets available in advance at the Club Expo box office or Ticketmaster. For complete access to Z100, dial 1-800-242. Two zero one hundred. Z Z Z on the street. Z one hundred. Z one Z100's top one hundred songs of ninety seven. If you like a squeaky clean Euro disco blend of rushing synth melodies like Mr. Leonard does, then you would have invited this artist to your debutante ball. We only wish Mr. Leonard would have showed up. Coming in at number twenty seven, Gina G. Ooh ah, just a little bit on Z 100s top one hundred of nineteen ninety seven. Kidster, Kid Kelly on Z100. The singer for this next band, Brian Vander Ark, said that the first job he ever had was cleaning chickens at a banquet hall when he was 16. He also said that if it wasn't for making music, he'd probably be managing a sporting goods store with a bunch of high school kids somewhere. Dropping in at number 26, here's the Verb Pipe with the Freshman on Z100's Top 100 of 1997. I was young and knew everything. Z100's Top 100 of 1997. 25. This next song was a surprise hit in 1997. It was written and produced by a guy named Yoti Mishra. He's an English dance music producer and songwriter. Here's White Town with Your Woman. Number 25 on Z100's Top 100 of 1997. This is Kid Kelly. Moving to number 24, we have a bunch of guys who joined the Z Morning Zoo in Puerto Rico. When we first heard them, we could have sworn they were blues traveler. At number 24, Sister Hazel, all for you on Z100's Top 100 of 1997. Finally, I figured out what it took a long, long time. Z100's top 100 songs of 1997. These next ladies need no introduction. I gotta tell you, I hung out with them at Z100 Snowball last year, and I couldn't understand a word they said. They sing a lot better than they speak. And at number 23, here's Crush with Jellyhead on the Z100 top 100 songs of 1997. I'm Kid Kelly, wishing everybody a happy and healthy holiday. Songs of 1997, WHTC, North New York City. Here once again, 
Paul Cubby Bryant. Hey, it's Paul Cubby Bryant again from the Z100 Afternoon Show. I'm still looking for the best traffic report of 1997, but we can't find one. So far, the front runner is one from July 15th, but I'll, I'll keep looking. Hey, you know this next guy. He's from Montclair, New Jersey. He played at our Z Day on the Intrepid in 1997, and he used to help play with Lisa Loeb before she got signed to a contract. His friends call him Duncan Cheek. I must be a friend because I call him Duncan Cheek. Here he is at number 22 with barely breathing on Z100's Top 100 for 1997. I know what you're doing. I see it all too clear. It's Paul Cubby Bryant. This next song came out early in 1997. And you know what? Every time I hear this song, I get so hungry. It reminds me so much of Burger King and a nice, fat, juicy Whopper because, hey, you know, it doesn't help that Burger King used it in their commercials. In at number 21, it's the Blackout All-Stars with I Like It on Z100's Top 100 of 1997. Z100's Top 100 Songs of 1997. 20. Now, how about the Australian dynamic duo? Men at work! No, um, in just three years, they rise to the top of the international music scene. Uh, have you ever figured it out yet? They have some really catchy and poppy songs like this next one that everyone used to mistake for a cherry cola commercial. Here at number 20, it's Savage Garden with I Want You on Z100's Top 100 of 1997. Anytime I need to see a picture, it goes my eyes and I... Hey, it's Paul Cubby Bryant on Z100. Okay, the, the singer of our next band, Alice Nutter, said the original lyrics for the song simply didn't make any sense. They had to change the words around just before the song was released, like it made a difference. They sing about getting knocked down and not being able to get back up again. It's like a life call commercial. I've fallen and I can't get up! You guessed it. In at number 19, it's Chumbawamba with Tub Thumping on Z100's Top 100 for 1997. Z100's Top 100 of 1997. Hey, it's Elliot, and I'm back with your second installment of Who Got Hitched and Who Got Ditched in 1997. Tennessee's Andre Agassi and suddenly Susan Stark Brooke Shields tied the knot at St. John's Episcopal Chapel in Monterey, California, while Veronica's Closet star Kirstie Alley and former Hardy Boys honcho Parker Stevenson split up, citing those famous irreconcilable differences. They'd been married for 14 years and have two kids named William True and Lily, and I guess divorce makes you put on a couple pounds, but I'm not talking about anyone in particular. X-Files star David Duchovny and Naked Truth star Taya Leone got hitched in a very hush-hush ceremony at the downtown New York prep school that David attended until the 8th grade. He and Taya exchanged vows in front of about, eh, about a half dozen witnesses, and this one actually looks pretty good, like it has a chance of lasting. And speaking of those really long, long-lasting marriages, Liar Liar star Jim Carrey and former picket fences star Lauren Hawley called it quits after 10 months. Woo, boy! Nobody really knows what happened here, but both of them are accusing each other of cheating. Funny guy, pretty girl, great combination. That didn't work out. All right, let's talk smart people. Matthew Broderick and Sarah Jessica Parker got married right here in New York at my favorite synagogue that you can't pronounce on the Lower East Side. And super hottie Mariah Carey left Sony Records head honcho Tommy Mottola after nearly four years of marriage. Mariah has since moved on to run her own record company called Crave Records that Tommy bought for her. Hmm, good for you, girl. I'm Elliot, and that was Who Got Hitched and Who Got Ditched in 1997. Still to come, Hanson, Jewel, Sugar Ray, 1997's Biggest News Stories, Part 3, and Who Had Kids in 1997, Part 2, next on Z100. Z100's Top 100 of 1997 is brought to you by Toyota. Z100. For millions of people around the world, 1998 won't be official until the ball falls in Times Square. This year. Z100 gets you right in the middle of the celebration with our own Sharon and Danielle broadcasting live from Club Expo in Times Square. Join C100's Pajama Party Animals at Club Expo New Year's Eve from 8 till 2 a.m. with special musical guests, Allure. She moves in Rob Bass. Tickets are available at Ticketmaster and the Club Expo box office. Listen for your chance to win passes and ring in the new year with Allure, She Moves, and Rob Bass. Great party. New Year's Eve at Club Expo in Times Square with Z100.
During this season of giving and get-togethers, it's time for the best savings of the year at the 19th Annual Toyotathon. 